if you're under great stress, the, 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 the communication between prefrontal cortex and the amygdala breaks down. So one week of stress in preparation for a major exam at the university will disrupt the communication between prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. Now it comes back when the stress is over, but while you're under that stress, prefrontal cortex is not able to calm the amygdala down the way it normally would. If you have enormous stress growing up, then it affects brain development. And so you get a situation where the child grows up to be an adult who's hypervigilant, who's very easily aroused and very anxious because the communication between prefrontal cortex and the amygdala didn't develop properly because of the stress the child was under. And when you see people recover from extreme stress or PTSD, I think what we're seeing is the communication between prefrontal and the amygdala being restored. We, ha we don't have the data to show that what's happening in the brain when you recover, but we do have the data to show what happens from the early stress.